So the first step that I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to do a bit of my moisturiser. I'm going to be using this, the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion. This is the, the Custard as it is commonly known. I'm just going to do a, just a wash of this so over my face to give my, to give my skin a drink. This is very resemblant to the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury, which I've been doing a lot of visual, a couple of visuals on some of her makeup, including a full review on her Coral Kiss lipstick and a dupes visual that I did last week. So this will be doing the same job, but you'll be saving quite a bit of money. I think you're saving the best part of £40 off the Charlotte one when you use this one. Okay, now I'm going to do my foundation. The foundation I am using is this. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection. This is in the shade Ivory. Because we are going into spring, I tend to wear a shade darker because if you're like me and you're a runner and you go out every day when the weather's starting to get nice, then now is the time to go shading because I am known to tan quite quickly. And because I wear shorts when I'm running, I get tan legs. And whenever I'm, I take my shoes off and take my socks off, my feet look like I'm wearing little white booties. Just think it won't be long until it's that time of year where my feet look like I'm wearing little booties. I also like this foundation because it's invisible coverage and it is a pore blurring effect and it's so pore blurring effect and visible coverage visibly perfect skin so it is a great foundation nice beginner one as well and this is a good one to wear to school maybe if you go to school that may be quite strict on makeup then this is a nice natural finish so it doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup and then just using the same brush i'm going to be going in with a little bit of this it's the mix can't stop won't stop concealer just going to do a little bit under my eyes you can also use a colour wheel but because I don't own any of those as yet I'm just using normal concealer but I am looking to put a colour wheel to the test so we've got to do a little bit under my on my nose as well I always seem to miss my cupid bow whenever I do my foundation now I'm just going to take a little bit of powder just to set my under eye concealer. The one I'm using is this. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent. This is a nice versatile one because it's transparent. It, it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of powder. It, I have used quite a lot of this, so even though it doesn't look like I've used quite a lot, I don't know if you can see this in the viewfinder, but you can see like a small dent. I haven't quite hit pan on it yet, but for... I think this was six ninety nine when I bought it. So you do get what you're paying for because there is a lot of product in there, and then it's just something you can just take on the go and then touch up if necessarily. And then next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to do a tiny bit of bronzer just to warm up my face as we are going into spring, and this is the point where I do like to dig up the bronzer because it won't be long until I'm desperately trying to match my face up to my shade of body. And this is also from Rimmel, the one I'm using is the Radiance Brick Multitone Shimmer Powder, Multitonal Shimmer Powder in the shade Light. You can also get a warmer one as well, but I do like to use this one because at least it at least it gives off a, a mild sun kiss glow as opposed to one that is too warm. And then you can always add more if need be if you want more of a sun kissed effect. I'm now going to go on with a little bit of blusher as well. So I'm going to be taking the blusher that I've been absolutely loving. I've used pretty much all year round. It's the MAC Cherry Blossom blusher. As you can see here, I have used this quite a lot. I literally use this. I can just picture certain products. I can just picture days and events that I've worn these two. I remember wearing this all through spring two years ago. And this was the blush I actually wore to see the Cherry Blossom to her. I also vlogged that day, so I'll be, I will link that in the description box below if you fancy watching any of my The Vamps one and also any of my concept vlogs because it's just gone one year since I went to see the one. It, it's just, I kind of believe it's one year already. And although it is sad that it's nearly one year since we lost Tom, I am thankful that 
we did get to see we did get to see the wanted and I'm happy I got the mate as well because the because it means something a lot more now I just think it's so special and you're unlikely to get anything like this again I'm not gonna bother on anything with I'm not gonna bother with my eyebrows so I'm just gonna go straight on to my eye so the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna be using this is the one I thought I would come back to and this is not one that I've used for so long it's this really old model zone barely there palette this is the nude palette so as you can see here it's got all like nice neutral shades I remember wearing this I remember wearing this about five years ago it takes me back to being in college and because it is red nose day today i'll be using this palette again because it, this is the one that i actually used for red nose day a couple of years ago so i'm gonna go in with this shade here because i'm wearing i plan to wear red with this with this makeup look because i'm going out a bit later so i'm gonna be going in with this shade here called bare skin which is this shimmery bronzy color and i'm just going to be just doing a wash of this on my eyelid i'm not going to put too much on because i'm only going for a natural look today and because it is spring it is all about keeping things minimal Now to add just a little bit of definition to my socket, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this shade here which is called Nude, which is this matte salmon and I'm just going to do a wash of this as a transition. I'm not going to go for any smoky eye today, I'm just going to use this and then the job is done. So just because you're doing eye makeup doesn't mean you need to do a full smoky eye. I might take a little bit of that bare skin that I used on my eyelid and I'm just going to put this underneath my lower lash line and wake myself up. Okay, so that's my eyeshadow done. I'm not going to bother much with my any liner or any smoky waterline so I'm just going to go in with a bit of mascara and this is the one that I've used in several of my vlogs and I thought I would come back this video I have been doing a lot of old favourites and I just thought I would bring some back because one I haven't used them for so long two it's nice to have a good rotation of your wardrobe because at least you're getting to use products that you forgot that you own so the mascara that I'm using yeah it is the waterproof scandalized on-demand mascara from Rebel London and I'm just going to Use this. If you're a regular to my channel, you'll remember a whole phase where I just used nothing but this mascara. And it really does give the impression that you are wearing false eyelashes. And if you like me, where you're in touch with my feelings, this is definitely your best friend because it's one of the mascaras where you don't end up smudging everywhere. And finally guys for my makeup look I'm just going to do a nice spring colour for my lipstick because it is red nose day I am going to be joining the party with the theme and I'm just going to be going in with this subtle red this is the Mega Last from Wet n Wild in the shade Bellini Overflow. I'm not going to do a lip liner because I'm keeping things fairly simple. there you have it guys that is my spring makeup look for 2023 complete i really hope you guys enjoyed me revisiting some of the older pieces of makeup that i have in my collection it was a lot of fun to really love some of my childhood and a lot of the products that i wore in my teenage years and i just feel 17 all over again comment below to see what your favorite old piece of makeup was or what your favorite brand of makeup was growing up because i would love to hear some of your suggestions some of them i may own so i may do some more videos where i dig out old makeup in my collection 
Be sure to hit the bell down below, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon for another video. Thanks for watching and have a great red nose day.